welcome back into the rogues gallery. This is Red Dead Redemption. Pretty happy with the the way it looks in 4K. Not gonna lie. Obviously, like you can tell it's dated, but it looks good. Alright, so what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Marshall Johnson, Bonnie McFarlane. Let's do the Marshall. Armadillo. Excuse me, excuse me. Why is there a bounty on me? Oh no. Get off the horse, get off the horse, get off the horse. I need to get out of here. I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Oh, you ran right in front of me. That, that was your fault. That was your fault. Damn, damn, I am hit. I will never pay my debt to society. You got anything interesting, friend? Who's shooting me? Shot me. I got iron to suit any need. Please, about it, friend. We got the second amendment for a reason. Don't we? I'll come back. I'll come back. I got some money, but not enough. Send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshall! Marshall! Oh shit, what's going on? <coughs> Marshall! <clears throat> I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so... Yes, sir, right now? That sarcasm is most unbecoming, Eli. It's gonna hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. Oh my right, god. Let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. It'd be my pleasure. Let's 
Let's roll. How long you been working for the government, Marston? I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clowns in Blackwater that says otherwise. Are you some kind of vigilante? You don't look like no government, boy. I guess it's complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight lip son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty person last time, if I remember correctly. Simmer down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. <laughs> right in Bill, front of the sheriff. To be honest with you, Marston, I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash came in a wild land. Nearly there. Proceed on foot from here. Let's move up the canyon towards the fort. Be ready, boys. We're probably going to be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. I'm just going to start firing. Going with the marshal. I gotta protect the marshal. Come on, Keep up. We're not poor. Come on then, Marson. Just make sure you don't slow me down. My Just God. make sure you don't die. take these people alive. There's still one more. I see him, I see him, I see him. Good shoot, Marston. Looks like there's some ammunition lying about if you need it. I'll meet you up on the ridge. Can I open this treasure? Oh, I can. Shit. Here. 
Keep your eyes open. I saw a couple of snipers across the way. Look out! There are them snipers! You better surrender! You hear? Yeah, I don't see them. Oh, they're right there. Serious? Like, you I'm shooting them. That's crazy. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I can't go, I can't go. SEAL Team 6 out here. Or do either one's fine with me. Can I have this? Come on! Let's get these sons of bitches! Come on, I can't take them all by myself. Hey, Keith, you ain't leaving Pox Mason alive! Give it up now! Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. Wes Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. Wes Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was doing town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons <laughs> housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. So do I, I find this guy? I only got $25 for that. I'm gonna need more money than that. Alright. I got almost as much money for the entire mission in two... 
Huge treasure chest. More money than the entire mission. Two, I think there's two people right here. Nope, just one. Alright, so... either go to West Ni or Nile Nigel West Dickens or Bonnie McFarland. I'm gonna go to Bonnie. Bonnie's right here. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, oh, going the wrong way, going the wrong way. Oh, damn, we're right here. Doctor? Let me know if you see something you like. Thank you. Nah, eh, nothing good. Pleasure dealing with you. A man walked up to me the other day and he said, Harley Bear's March. That's what I'd like to hear. Well, I'll be. Oh, what are we playing? Poker? A couple of hands couldn't hurt. That deal almost ruined me. Oh, you ain't. Fold. Pair of queens, I wasn't going to beat that. Two and a nine. I'll fold. King high spade flush, that's crazy. King and a four, I'll call. Raises to ten. Hmm. I'll call, I got a king. Fuck it. Yeah, that was a pretty good idea. I'll take it. Three and an eight. I'm out. Yeah, you won seven dollars. Good job. Pocket jacks. Let's go. Pocket jacks. Damn. Still though.
Oh my god. Oh my god. I bet three. And a five. I'm gonna go all in. Hmm. Oh no. You're joking. <laughs> Damn, I guess I'm out. You can't just win that sucked. Like that. That's me done for now, fellas. All right, I guess I'm gonna go to sleep so I can do this mission. Well, I never. Well, I never. I want one of these dusters. Alright, we, we're in the morning. Why can't I go to Bonnie? Lewis Eddins. Today is the day. Today is the day. He challenged me. What, what am I supposed to do? What could I? What could I do? You know. All right. Let's see. Save it again. I don't. I don't know how to speed ahead time. Yeah, that'll do. Why am I out here? McFarland. Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you'd say is I had two and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder as a substitute for having anything interesting to say. Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, 
I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on a boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true. Especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute and he was her, well, I, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. All right, so what am I doing? Mount my horse. Okay. We couldn't Tell walk to the cow pen. It must have been hard for you. I hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. Up. We could have walked over here. Like, why do we take the horses? Oh, to hurt them. I'm working on it. This way, we need to take them out to the pasture. I'm working on it. They're just like going all over the place.
Is there more cattle right there? Five wasn't hard enough. Let's pick up twenty. Keep sweeping behind them. That way they'll stay together. You're doing great, Mr. Marshall. Stay with them. Keep that herd together now. Bonnie's gonna love it. He's this. just showing off now. Keep the moving. That's a big herd. Let's go for a time. That's what I'm saying. Five dollars. Oh, that's crazy. All right. Well, I'm gonna set up a camp. I guess we'll probably end the video here. Thirty-two minutes. We'll do a short one today. Uh, let's see. I'll go ahead and save it. If you want to check out the older videos and series, you can find them on YouTube at the Rogues Gallery Twenty-Three. Got a little bit done. Alright, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.